May 5th, I found out that my mother had cancer. She was, um, she was fine. Everything was good until May 5th happened. She went to the hospital. We found out that she had cancer. Um, it affected me plenty of ways because I had to finish school, just finish school for her, really, and finish school for myself. Um, she inspired me to keep pushing on and just, just keep going through everything that I've been through and show that she got my back, even if she still isn't here or whatever. So that's what affected me, how it affected me. What does it mean to have my teammates standing right there beside me? It means a lot to me because like they they have my back for two years now. They know my story and some of them have been through the same thing that I've been through. So they understand what I'm going through. So that's what, that's why I like my team. Well, preparing for this game, like I, I like that they are honoring like the people who are, have survived the breast cancer and people who have passed from breast cancer. And um, just preparing for the game, we showing support and letting everybody know that we do care about people who we lost and people who have survived from this. Hi, I'm Rebecca Roan and I'm here with your halftime conversation. Today, I'm here with Coach Hilbrick and we're discussing the Play for K Breast Cancer Society. Coach Hilbrick, what is Play for K? Uh, Play for K is an organization that was developed by Kay Yao, who is a late um, NC State head coach. And it's a unified effort through uh, the coaches, Women's Basketball Coaches Association to create awareness uh, and to raise money for breast cancer awareness. Okay. And what has inspired you to choose the Play for K for our university? Well, it's a, you know, it's a great cause. It's something that we really want to raise awareness. Um, breast cancer affects so many people in so many different ways um, as far as, you know, maybe someone you know, uh, maybe a loved one, and, you know, sometimes you as an individual. Um, so it's, it's good for us to raise awareness uh, throughout the campus and throughout our community. And as a coach, what does it mean to you to see your team bond together for an organization like this? Uh, well, it's, it's nice for the team. Um, you know, it's, we're not just basketball players. You know, we like to get out and get involved with the community, doing some other types of community service activities. And this is just one way to reach out and show our appreciation to the community um, and honor those survivors. Okay. And why is it so important for you and the team to do outreach programs in our community? Uh, I like to, you know, have the, have the team interact with the community. Um, you know, again, it's not just about us. It's not just about us playing basketball. Um, it's about the student athletes as a whole um, and developing them into people that can go out into their community um, for causes like this to raise awareness about breast cancer. Um, it might be working for Habitat for Humanity to help out those in need. Um, and, and it's just a good way for our team to reach out to other people. Again, this is our Play for K event, and this year we're having a silent auction um, to raise money to go toward the KL Cancer Fund. We're also selling our pink t-shirts, $10, um, proceeds go to KL Cancer Fund. Um, we are also honoring survivors at halftime, um, and we will also be honoring those that have lost their battle with breast cancer. Okay, that's great. So anyone throughout the community can come in and mm -hmm. be a part of the Play for K. Yes, we would love to have as many supporters out as possible. Um, we hope that everybody that comes to our game will wear pink. And again, any survivors out in the community, um, we would like to reach out to them and honor them as our guests at halftime. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me. And it's great talking with you. And I hope that we can get as many people as possible I here hope so to watch too. the game. Thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you. it. My name is Davia Harris, and my mother had breast cancer. Her name was Mary Harris. She didn't tell me that she had breast cancer until my sophomore year, um, summer. When I came home from the summer, she didn't tell me while I was at school because she thought that it would affect me and my schoolwork. So I was unaware of it until I came home during the summer. She told me, she sat down and talked to me about it and I was a little bit angry at first because I was unaware of it, but I understood why she didn't tell me. Um, it affected me. It didn't affect me as much as I thought it would because it was only during the first stage. It wasn't really serious, but it still, it still affected me just the fact of knowing that she had breast cancer. I just thank God that she's still alive to this day and that she was able to survive breast cancer. I still pray for those who are still fighting it, to the ones who lost people and to the people who survived from it.